Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. This is episode 90 of the 10 minute modeling challenge and we're gonna revisit the roots. So I've loaded up my old school palette with 64 colors. We're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna model ourselves a mine cart with a few wheels, well, four of them, and a little rail for it to potentially roll on as well. I'm just uh, wanna do some old school, uh, simple, low poly editing now. So for uh, maybe new viewers to the channel, you can see what this is all about. And if you wanna go a little bit more into depth about the rendering and lighting, you can check out uh, the last four episodes. So that would be the cyberpunk room, the lighthouse, the tree, and also the dungeon entrance. Some of the stuff that I learned during uh, the last few episodes about lighting, I've actually applied to uh, the intro scenes and some cutscenes and promo material for our game called Line War. Some of you have heard that I'm working on this RTS game uh, along with another guy. And uh, we're about two and a half years into development and we've uh, set a release date for it. So the early access release date purely by chance, funny enough, believe it or not, is the 22nd of February, 2022. 2022, 0222. Maybe we'll release it at 2222 in the evening. Who knows, a lot of twos. I put together some music for the game too. I've uh, composed about half an hour's worth of music so far. And I took one of the tracks and I combined it with the low poly style that uh, all the objects and units and stuff and structures in uh, Line War have. And I combined that with uh, some lightning effects that I learned in the last few episodes here on this channel. And uh, inside of Unity, I created this intro sequence in real time, added the music, and uh, this is uh, what it's gonna look like. So check it out. So you could help us out a lot by wishlisting Line War on Steam. So go to the URL in the description and add it to your wishlist if you're interested in this game. We really need to start uh, pushing out some uh, some information about this game that is coming. So adding it to a wishlist would be really helpful. So thanks for that. Minecart, low poly style. In three, two, one, go and we're off. Tab into edit mode, A to select everything, scale, Z axis, bring it up. We'll uh, actually apply the mirror modifier, pound, there. A, we're gonna make a brown minecart. Okay, wood, and make it a little bit smaller there. L to select the link, to bring it down, scale Z. Okay, put some wood planks here. Shift D to duplicate that face. Move it out to there, E to extrude. Bring this one up. Maybe to there, scale on the Y axis, press Y. Shift D, scale Y, E to extrude, scale Y. I'll leave a little gap there, just to make it look uh, like planks. Here, let's do Shift D to duplicate this one, and E to extrude. Let's just bring this one, we can tilt these after maybe, like this. L to select the link, bring it in. Shift D to duplicate it, the whole plank this time bring it to there and this gap is too big so bring it down it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly aligned wood back then when they made these type of minecarts weren't so straight shift d to duplicate it scale y minus one and that flips the normal so i'll have to do alt n and do real calculate outside and bring that to maybe there should we have them on the inside nah that'll be good that'll be good can be the different constructions here in the front and the back. So here I'll do Shift D again, E to extrude. I'm gonna put some uh, metal here. L to select the linked G and some metal color there. And I'll do side view, three on the keypad, G to just move that one up. 
And how are we doing? 8 17. I'm gonna do, try to do rail within the time as well. That's gonna be the stressful time limit today. So I have to do, see if I can do that, fit that in. Shift D, duplicate, scale Y, minus one, Alt N, recalculate outside. There. And then should we Shift D that one as well? Put some metal up here. Alt, select the linked G. And here we should do as well. Shift D is my favorite thing when I do these type of objects to duplicate just a face. And bring that in. L. And I'm, I'm not so bothered about uh, these overlapping geometries. I think it adds a little bit detail to the cart. Usually I'd be super picky about uh, not having those, but I don't mind them to be honest. Uh, and I want to add some character to it anyway. So G. G construction back these days and if you want to add some as well you could shift D and press ctrl B to bevel that for example if you want to have some and then sometimes I scale those up to get a little bit more as well so you can play around a little bit with uh, those type of things maybe we should do uh, seven minutes okay let's do uh, some uh, wheels on it so very simple cart here uh, I'll do I think I'll just bring this one Oop down first like this and then i'll shift right click shift to place the cursor shift a mesh cylinder okay i shouldn't do that i'll be in edit mode actually shift a cylinder clipping off because they're touching scale it down rotate y 90 scale x and we'll bring them out to here i think eight select everything scale zero uh, metal wheels here and then i'll do Control r to loop cut this one and then scale it down i'll do like these mine cart style wheels here e to extrude s to scale and i to inset e to extrude s to scale and Control plus there to expand the selection and do that dark just to break it up so that's going to be the mine cart wheel we've got six minutes l to select the linked shift d to duplicate it bring in here or actually before i do that let's do the little Thing, center thing here so clipping back on e to extrude and now else select link shifty we put some uh, maybe charcoal or coal not charcoal shifty e to extrude s to scale and l to select the links i'll do p here separate selection so i get a separate object Control r to loop cut it a few times Control r to loop cut it this way l to select all the linked right Blender crashed. Okay, so Blender just crashed, that happens. Not to worry, if that happens to you, either you've saved it or you haven't. If you haven't saved it, usually it's not too much of a panic anyway, because you can probably create, recreate it and maybe it's gonna be even better the second time anyway. Am I recording? Yeah, let's go. There we go. Uh, or I'll do auto mirror straight away. A to select everything, scale Z, bring it up, bring it in, make it brown. Scale, I should be able to do slightly faster now maybe. And then we'll do the side here, Shift D to duplicate that one, E to extrude, zoom in, bring it up, scale Y, scale Y, Shift D, scale Y, extrude, scale Y, and that's it. We'll do the front, Shift D, duplicate it, E to extrude, move it up to there roughly, bring it in, Alt select link, Shift D, move it up, bring it in. L, move this one back again. LL, select link, move them out to here. Should be able to move a little bit faster now. Shift E to duplicate, scale Y, minus one, Alt N, recalculate normals outside so they don't look see-through. Bring it into there. And now we'll put the metal here. So we'll do Shift D to duplicate that one. Bring it into there, E to extrude, L, select the link, G, make it metal, or gray at least. And here, side view, three on the key. Oh, I need to grab this face first. Three on the keypad, C side, G, and bring it up to there. And L to select the link, Shift D, scale Y minus one, Alt N, recalculate normals outside, bring it to there. And then here we'll do the sides here as well. Shift D, I'll do it a little bit different style this time. Bring it down to there, E to extrude, L to select the link, G, and that's going to be that. 
And then here we'll do the same, Shift D to duplicate that one. B to extrude some different style here, maybe I'll do all the way up here. And bring that in, so a little bit more solid there maybe. Alt, select link, Shift D. Move that one back to there. And as I said in uh, before it crashed last time, uh, you could add some character to it by just uh, maybe selecting these three, doing Control B, select that one, scale, and same here, select these, Control B, you can, oh, select these, Control B, and you can add uh, some wear and tear to the metal and stuff. So keep that in mind if you want. I should do that to this side one as well. Control B and Control B scale. Okay, something like that. So we've got 727 on the clock. Oh, should we put another, another metal beam down here maybe? Scale Y. And I think we also need to go L. Bring that down to here just to make it a little, a little bit more solid. I don't really mind the overlapping geometry, so you shouldn't either. <laughs> it's not, not a problem performance-wise. So scale Y minus 1, Alt and recalculate outside. And bring it to there. Okay, that's pretty much it now. We're going to put the little wheels on here now. So I'll do Shift right click here for the cursor, Shift A, Cylinder. To disable clipping, A, scale it. Oh. Scale it down, rotate Y90, enable clipping again, because I always forget. Scale, scale X, scale X again, bring it into here. A, scale zero on the UV side here on the left. G, make it metal again, ish. <laughs> bring it into there, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, and then E to extrude, S to scale. I to inset, and E to extrude, S to scale. Control plus, and go like black, something different, and I to inset, E to extrude, and clipping is on, that's good. L to select link to bring it down to there. Shift D, put that there, so that's going to be our two minecart wheels. Now we'll put some coal in here, so six minutes on the clock, Shift D to duplicate that one. E to extrude it, S to scale it, S to scale on the Y axis, L to select the link, G to make it blackish, and P to separate it into a selection, so I can apply the mirror modifier here. Control R, or tab into edit mode, Control R. Okay, before I apply the mirror modifier, I want to Control R to loop cut it a few times. Control R, that should do. And now I'll apply this mirror modifier, so I can do there. O for proportional, G, and use the mouse wheel to go down. And now we'll just make it like it's got some coal in it or something. And we've got five minutes to go, so I'm going to try to make a rail now using array modifier. We'll borrow some geometry, I think, from the wheel here. So maybe that could be good. Should we do like E to extrude? So it looks like sticking up some pieces here, maybe. E to extrude. O for proportional off. And maybe these. E to extrude, S to scale, and one more here, that piece, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, so that's going to be the minecart part. Now we'll do the rail then, or the rail, yeah, rail, railway. So tab into edit mode, I'm going to borrow that face, Shift D to duplicate it, bring it down to there, scale Z to zero to flatten it, and I only do this so I get the mirror modifier with me, and E to extrude it, and maybe there we should go I'll bring it out actually to here, so maybe like this. And here I'll do E to extrude, S to scale on the X axis, and E to extrude, E to extrude, S scale on the X, and E to extrude. So that could be like the shape of the rail. And then I'll have to move it out here as well, make it a little bit thicker. We've got 355, so maybe that could be like a rail segment, like this. Should I do E to extrude, S to scale on the x-axis to get a little bit of a bevel there as well maybe. There, and then here I think I'll also do shift D to duplicate it. We need the, those wood beams, so E to extrude, L, change it to like a dark wood, bring it into there. You can make these thicker, they'll probably head down through the ground anyway. And now I'm going to try to use the mirror modifier then, no not the mirror, the array. So let's create uh, 
we'll create a new object, Shift A, Curve, Path. Tab into edit mode, scale this one up, rotate it maybe like that. And I'll just put some curves here for it to go on. So G to move that on, G to move it, G to move that on, G to move. Okay, so that could be, it's that one steep. This is gonna be like a roller coaster instead. Uh, you can also do E to extrude on this thing. E to extrude it works here as well. So that's it. I've got two minutes 48. So I need to, I think I need to, is it the, after the modifier, I'll add an array modifier. And let's bring out the count. Okay, that doesn't work because we need to separate this first. L to select the linked, L to select the linked, P, separate selection. This one now, we need to add the modifier, array, and we'll switch it to uh, zero here. And on the Y axis, we'll increase it. That's it. Oh no, not the distance. That should be one count though. We should increase there. And then we'll add uh, another modifier here, curve. And we'll pick this curve here. Chong, and the form axis should be Y. And it's rotated the wrong way, so I think I can uh, select the curve path here. There. And then Control A to select all of them, Control T to rotate 90. Yeah. And then we'll bring Shift Space G, and we can retrofit this. To fit the thing. Control T is actually rotating uh, these uh, vertices here for the path. So it's not R like you might expect. 132. So this is going to be one wild ride. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have time to apply the physics for it, but that would have been fun. Okay, so we've got some uh, issues there. Maybe I can bring this up to fix it. You could also fit the cart afterwards instead, of course. But I think. Uh, okay, I'll do that now. I'll select this one, that one, rotate, Z. We'll figure out. Okay. And since I've got uh, one minute to go, maybe I should just do uh, what we'll do here is take the path. There. Shift D to duplicate it. Shift space G, move it. Right click and just do uh, tab into edit mode. Eight, select everything. Can I convert this one? Convert to mesh. E to, okay, tab into it, A to select everything, tab into edit mode, okay. Didn't I convert it? L. Convert to mesh, tab into edit mode, A to select that. E to extrude. Have I got proportional? I don't know. Okay. So, time didn't call out for uh, making uh, terrain apparently. So we're going to have to be satisfied here with the minecart instead. And we've got five seconds to go. All the wheels are okay. Ah, that's it. Time's up. So I think I succeeded to create the minecart and the rails, but I failed to convert it. I was going to convert this uh, and, and create the surface out of it, but I must have pressed the wrong keys. Hey, that's not too bad. It's okay. We stuck to the time limit at least to do the minecart and the rail. The tip this week is going to be that you can use the path and the array modifier together. So if you look on this piece here, I've uh, got the auto mirror, which we... Let's just apply that so that disappears for now. Uh, so you've got the array modifier on the Y axis here. So it increases um, by one and I've got 209 segments. So this one will control how many rails there is. And you've got this one, the factor on the relative offset needs to be object uh, Y in our case, because I modeled it in the Y direction. And then I added the curve modifier down here and I picked the path that I created. And I also set the deform axis here to Y and those two together created uh, the ability to, let's see here, tab into edit mode. The track now will follow. Like if I do E to extrude here, E to extrude, you can do anything with the track here. And another tip then, if you get stuck, if your uh, rail or road, maybe you use this to create a road or something instead, then uh, if uh, th if it's tilted the wrong way, it might be vertical for you to begin with. And uh, you can select all the pass points here and press Control T then, and that will rotate these uh, vertex points or the path points here. And you can also do it retroactively on individual ones here. So 
control T will uh, get you those nice and smooth twists that you could do. Like even a roller coaster. Maybe you should do a roller coaster. Maybe I should do a roller coaster. That'd be fun. That'd be a hell of a ride. <laughs> okay, control Z. Let's go back to the way it was. I also did some more sequences. Uh, this one, for example, is uh, music that I composed for the defeated end screen. So if you've lost a match, and uh, this is going to be the sequence for that one. So check this one out. Very dark and sinister. Pretty cool. And finally, I'll also show if you win a game, this is going to be the end screen for the winning scene. I'm going for a little bit of a sci-fi inspired orchestral style music, and I think it goes pretty good with the low poly style and the lighting effects of Line War. And if you're wondering what the game is about, it's uh, not as dark as the intro screens are. It's a lot of fun to play this one. It's a real-time strategy game and you control a lot of units. And the big difference with Line War compared to all the other RTS games out there on the market is that you don't really click on individual units or groups of units to direct them. That's very micro-intensive and you have to do a lot of commands every second. So it's very difficult to play those games at a high level. The whole idea with Line War is that you draw these indirect commands. So you draw paths, circles or points and lines and all your units will be attracted by those commands and they'll follow it. So imagine you're watching like the History Channel or Discovery Channel or something and you see this world map for example of Europe and you see all these uh, paths and arrows drawn and how the units moved across the land and how they uh, had different battles. Well in Line War you get to draw these commands instead and the AI takes over and uh, all the units will follow your commands They'll set up uh, entrenchments, defense lines, they'll uh, attack, they'll uh, skirmish the aircraft and uh, attack those. Check out a few of these clips anyway from the in-game. This is a match that I played against Pasantos. And if you look on our uh, Line War YouTube channel, you can see the full match. It's actually one and a half hours long, one of the longer matches that we've had. It was a lot of fun to play this one. It was going back and forth. And uh, check out the full match on Line Wars uh, YouTube channel and you can see who ended up uh, victorious in the end. Here are a couple of sequences from that game. And uh, it's playing some of the music again that uh, was being composed for this game.
So thanks a lot for watching this episode. Remember, if you become a patron at patreon.com slash infensia, you can download all of the stuff that I do in these uh, 10 minute series, um, all the ninth episodes. I'm going to be due to upload another batch. I upload them in batches. So uh, maybe every 10, 15 episodes or so I upload them. So patreon.com slash infensia and hit the like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for episode 91 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. And remember, don't forget to wishlist Line War on Steam, head there right now. It's in the description. Just click it and add it to your wish list if you want the game, of course. Thanks again and bye for now.